Hello, welcome back to Shayla's Journey to Success. It's your girl Shayla P and you know what time it is. It's a little bit of a self check-in time because I've been missing you all and I have been having the hardest time preparing for the AFOQT and not just studying. I'll explain. As you see in the title, this is all about what's been going on. It is a new month. February 1st, and so it's time for a check-in. I hope y'all are doing well. If you just checked out this channel for the first time, welcome to the family, Team Success and the royalty family, that is. And if you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back in this space. I miss you all, and I hope you've been doing well. And most importantly, happy Black History Month. Stay tuned so we can check in and catch up, and let me give you all the tea. All right, y'all, I'm back. I had to give me a hot, fresh cup of tea for all of this. We about to spill, but no, not really. I'm just staying on track of it because it is Wellness Wednesday. And yes, I add honey to my tea, a little sweetener, not regular career cane sugar. But it's Wellness Wednesday. So what have you been doing to take care of yourself and all the wellness that you need for your mind, body, and spirit? Check in. That's all right. And if you've been off of what you had planned for the new year, that's okay. Revisit, reevaluate, bring it back. I'm gonna let this baby cool off because it is a fresh pot. And I just did some Earl Grey tea. It's a good calming one for me. And it's also, I've added to my lovely schedule, my TikTok Wednesdays. So, although I'd rather be watching friends, I'm definitely gonna keep tuning in and checking in with you all. So to kick things off, I'll be back over on TikTok. If you haven't followed me yet over there, check the description for the handle and follow your girl. TikTok Wednesdays is where I'm just taking an opportunity to be off from everything outside of me and have a little bit of fun. Also inspire everyone around me and near and far like I do best and just have a good time on another platform. So follow me over there. Before we get started on anything else, let's check this hair link check. So Wellness Wednesday. How is your hair doing? How are you feeling? How's your skin? So I'm very happy. I'm very happy and satisfied where my hair has grown. Uh, fresh retwist has been a week old. And yes, yeah, let that hang time happen, baby. I mean, we know I've been hanging, but do you see? Do you see the difference? Do you see the healthiness, the fullness? Although I hate the lint on the ends of the locks, I figured it out one day. I even tried to dye it. But anywho, I'm still excited. Um, I hope you all have been doing well. Again, this is February 1st, so I won't take too much of your time. Um, my backpack's over here to my right on the floor. I have been going and going and going and going. <sighs> and it's been nonstop for obviously intentional purposes. But when it comes to the AFOQT exam, the one that I've been training or practicing for and studying up every you know, day and sharing with you all my journey, I wanted to get on here and keep it real with y'all. So let's check in about that. Get cozy, won't take too much of your time, but it's been literally a headache in a way. Like I wanted to take time, like I told y'all, I wanted to make sure I take every avenue possible to prepare myself and equip myself to become a successful officer and pass this exam the first time around. I still have not taken it. Um, I actually did enroll in two courses. One was supposed to be math and then one was an English class and I say, or vocabulary. I say supposed to because the semester has started. It started on the 17th of July, or January, excuse me, and it's the 1st of February and I have not been back to class since the first day of class. I got in there and sweetest little, I think she was Asian, uh, instructor, sweet as can be, class was full, but it wasn't what I needed. And I knew immediately after we began, she trying to just jump right in into everything. And I was like, not like I was confused, but more so confused on like, where is this going to help me prepare for this exam? Am I really about to waste time and money? Granted, the military is going to bless me and pay for it, but I don't know about this. So it was a mathematics, no, yeah, quantitative reasoning, what it was. And now I've just been getting pretty much dragged along because all the classes are obviously full. People are actually worried about their education for once. And 
I can't get into any courses. And when I did think I was going to get into it, story time, the advisor I originally went to put me in quantitative reasoning. This is literally what I said I wasn't going to do. I wasn't going to overstep it, tell you the structure you should go. I wanted to follow that and not overdo it. The day I choose to go to an advisor is the day I'm in the, table, the seat that I'm in right now where I didn't get into the right course and I reap the consequences. I spoke to another advisor. She enrolled me virtually in a new class and it had one slot left. Next day or later that evening, come to find out I can't get into that. I didn't make it into the process. So it's just been a runaround situation. Not literally anyone to blame. It's just, is this not meant for me? I don't know. So I don't want to stress myself out. Um, Business to Poise LLC is doing well, it's doing phenomenal, and it's taking off. So it's like where one area you may feel a little bit short and the other one is going long-term, full throttle. So I just encourage you not to slow down in other areas of your life, business, successes, and just keep going further. Um, maybe it's just a pause, you know, maybe I just need to push pause and continue on on the adventures that I have and the success stories that I can tell. Meanwhile, working on that one in the background. So am I giving up? Absolutely not. Am I going to take a pause? Absolutely. Yes. I got to figure out what's going to work for me because obviously it's not working right here. Um, I do really feel like I need to take this class because it's going to be a refresher. So the ones that I was looking at now, it's Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's Tulsa Community College. I was going to go back to. I've graduated there since back in 2018. So, you know, went on to get my bachelor's and whatnot. Great stumping ground. But it's like, I feel like I have no room for me there because I'm not going for a degree. I'm not going for anything specific or an area of choice. It's just preparing for the AFOQT. So I will reevaluate things again later on today. Today is my off day. I have a private yoga session at two. So in the meantime, once I get done here with you family, I'm going to be working on my due diligence with uh, organizing my schedule, planning out another game plan for the class, um, as well as TikTok Wednesdays. Um, what else is there? Everything's been pretty good overall. It is Black History Month, and so I'm going to be kicking off my couples yoga special. Um, that's something that really just kind of planted in me last night while I was up working on some other things. So stay tuned for that. I'll put the link below. It's going to go for the entire month of February. I'm working out the tweet. <laughs> I'm working out the little tweaks on it uh, to decipher how I want to. I offer it, of course, but as well as what specific day or days that I want to be available to host it. Uh, I want to do both virtual and in person because I'm really trying to grow my um, virtual audience and customer base. So that's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be working on today. I would love to hear how you all are doing. The year is already been going. It's already gone past. It's one month down. So where are you at? Aquarius season was a heavy one for me. I never knew I knew this many Aquarius in my life. But we got through it, we celebrated, we had a lot of fun, and now we're on and moving forward. A lot more birthdays ahead of us. Um, but please, comment below. Let me know how you're doing. Is there anything that I can do as far as with your wellness? Not just on Wednesday, wellness, um, but every day. Is there anything that you're slacking in or you need advice in or opinions on? Um, I have only, you know, certain expertise as a nurse, yoga instructor, now CPR instructor. If I didn't update you, I am certified as a CPR instructor again. Boy, CPR services is up and thriving. I already got classes lined up and I can't do virtual because American Heart Association said no right now, but I will keep you posted when and if I can. And if you're in T-Town, Tulsa, Oklahoma, let me know. I definitely travel to surrounding cities and towns or come to you. A little bit extra on the fee, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's gonna be a two and a half hour class for two years, so it's worth it. Invest in yourself, that's one thing I can leave you with today. Invest, invest, invest in yourself, whether it's your health, your um, physical, or your spiritual, your mental, whatever version of it is. Take care of you. Take care of you. Health is wealth, so. I'd rather you have a plentiful abundance of a healthy lifestyle, a healthy mindset, a happiness surrounding you, an abundance of love around you, rather you be struggling and worried about these bills because they will be there, baby. You, if you're not here, you can't take care of that. So don't overwork yourself, don't overstress yourself. And at any time, if you feel like it's just too much happening, take a moment, make you some hot tea, 
let's take a sip if you got your tea or a drink with you yeah and then if you need to take a moment you can sit crisscross applesauce or you can sit upright in your seat if you're with me lie down if you're comfortable and let's bring three common breaths into this space so when you're ready your eyes can be open or closed focusing and i like to close mine to rest let the shoulders roll back and down and exhale when you're ready two more just like that let it go one last breath send it all the way up and down the body and then let yourself reboot reset because baby you got things to do i'm so glad grateful that you all are here i can't talk i get so excited when i'm with y'all <laughs> I am so grateful and honored to still have this space with you all on this side of the screen on Shayla's Journey to Success. Again, if this is your first time visiting, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hitting play. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of what you got. I try not to do too lengthy of videos now. We got things to do. And if this is you returning to your girl's journey to success, thank you and if you have not yet please do not forget to hit that like button below comment let me know how you're doing don't be shy this is the opportunity for you to talk to a stranger because some people need that in their lives everybody close to you is not the place you want to talk to sometimes or if this is just you checking in and saying what's up to your girl leave something below heart emoji smile emoji thumbs up emoji send me some yogi emojis come on baby love on me because i wish i could see you and love on you but until next time hit that subscribe button stay tuned in with your girl because we're only going up for here i got more to tune you into but for now get back to work get back to be an amazing version of you get you some tea hot cocoa whatever it may be because it's still winter time and before we sign out take a big breath in sitting those arms up above the head fingertips connect as you exhale down the heart center let the shoulders relax Inhaling, exhale, namaste, and amen. Until next time, bye.